Mark, how do you get over? How do you process what happened last night and regroup for game seven? Uh, you know, it was uh, obviously a hard fought game. Uh, I thought, again, we did a lot of a lot of good things in the game. Obviously, uh, it's tough losing in overtime the way we did, but had a lot of a lot of chances. I thought played well in the OT, and uh, that's that's playoffs. I think uh, there's ups and downs along this, along the way in, in the series, but uh, having an opportunity again, Game Seven at home, is is uh, somewhere I'm looking forward to. Next up, we'll go to Josh Clipperton, Canadian Press. Go ahead, Josh. Hey, Mark, you were uh, just finishing your OHL back in 2004. I'm just wondering if you remember uh, Game 7, Leaf Sens, when Joe Neuendijk put two past Patrick Aleem. Do you remember watching that game? Do you remember the last Game 7 with fans in Toronto? Yeah, I remember I remember uh, bits and parts of it. Uh, uh, just being a huge fan at the time, obviously, uh, seeing the atmosphere in the city and, and uh, in the ribs. So it's, it's, uh, it's a huge opportunity for us to be a part of that as players. And uh, uh, it's been great so far. It's been, uh, it's, it's like every playoffs. I mean, there's, there's ups, there's downs, but now we have, you know, one game where it's all on the line. So it's a, uh, it's a great thing to be a part of. Next up, we'll go to Pierre Lebrun with The Athletic. Go ahead, Pierre. Thanks for doing this, Mark. Um, uh, this is a team obviously trying to uh, to get over the hump. Uh, talked a lot about with this team the last five years. You were not part of that. You just come in this year. And I'm curious what your perception was of this team from afar, uh, again, with some of the playoff baggage in mind, and now that you're part of it and in the room, in the fight, perhaps what you don't know about this team. Well, I think... Yeah, from from the outside, you obviously watch watch this team. They're obviously uh, from watching these guys play over the past few years. Obviously, tremendous uh, talent here. A great team, always always uh, you know near the top of the standings. And uh, since I've been here, I've just been really impressed with the the demeanor of the group. I think uh, our top guys are leading the way, um, having big nights for us. About last night again. Uh, you know, Johnny, Johnny sort of took the lead there and, and uh, got us the lead in the second. And we played a, played a really, really good game, I think. Tons of looks in overtime. Um, you know, played, played really well. with back and forth there for a bit. But I thought uh, if, if you went chances-wise, we, we probably had a few more chances than in, in overtime. But that's the way the game works. But no, just a great group of guys here. And, and uh, you can tell they have a... Everyone in our room has that drive to win, and, and uh, the guys are playing well. We just got to be confident that in a one-game uh, do-or-die game where we have the ability to, to take it home. Next up, we'll go to Jonas Siegel with The Athletic. Go ahead, Jonas. Hey, Mark, you mentioned some of those top guys. I'm wondering what you've noticed from Austin, William, John, Mitch in, in these last couple games. Well, I think they've been leaders for us uh, on the ice, the way they're driving the play, the way they're making things happen. And I think uh, I think a lot of the time, you know, it's a lot of results are based on what, what those guys do offensively. But what I see is, uh, you know, Maddie and Johnny taking huge face-offs, winning huge draws, uh, playing really well in their own zone. Willie, whenever we need a spark, I feel like he's, he's a guy who's been giving us that lately. Um, so, no, I think all our top guys, I think the misconception is how great they are always offensively. Marnes is another example, but, uh, you know, they do a lot of a lot of really good things both ways on the ice that uh, when you when you see that as a player and those are your top guys, it goes a long way. And last one here, we'll go to Jean-Francois. Go ahead, Jean-Francois. Good morning, Mark. Sometimes there is no poetic way to describe a challenge, but last night, Austin Matthews said that we need to put our balls on the line. Uh, was it the perfect way to describe the the challenge that your your team will be facing? Yeah, I think we got to have that mentality. We got to believe in ourselves. We're good enough. We get out there and play our game. Uh, we're good enough to beat anybody. So um, you just got to go. You got to have that confidence in your game, and I think that's what he meant by that. Um, we're definitely, obviously, after an overtime loss, right after the game, it's it's tough. Uh, you're a little bit down, but today you wake up, there's a new day. Uh, 
we'll get back home and, and tomorrow's going to be a really exciting day. It's going to be hard to, to, to have your pregame nap and all that because you're going to be so excited, but that's a good thing. That means uh, you care and um, looking, really looking forward to playing in that game. It's going to be a, uh, an amazing atmosphere for sure.